You can read this time. Yeah, I read them. Okay, okay, yeah. good. Uh-oh, so he's coming after me. Mm -hmm. Uh-huh, all right. Okay, All right, George, your beautiful face here on the cover oh, of Boston Magazine. Oh, what's that? Magazine. A picture of me. I haven't like, seen that in a while. I just picture behind him. He's an egomaniac. This Let is me just you. like my house at home. I have this all. My bedroom looks like this. With or without cowl. Yeah, no, cowl. Listen to this cowl. comment here. So okay. Think about it. Is his perpetually upbeat demeanor merely the way Clooney blocks the entrance into his bleak and tortured soul? Mm. That's deep stuff for That's us deep. magazine. That is deep. I know. I, I wrote that and put it out there. I just there like myself. the way it sounded. I don't it even did. know what, it's, what he's trying to no, say. But it's I don't beautiful. even know all the words. It was beautiful. Um, I know. It's true. And, and I have been hiding my deep, deep, deep dark secret that really I'm, I'm Robin soul. inside. And I... Well, sometimes we, we all get down and we try to make ourselves be up by being fun. And I know sure. I do the same thing. Sure. They just don't understand, do they? They don't understand. They don't, they don't get care. it. All right. Then you go to a bell tower and start shooting people. <laughs> yeah, I know. That's the next step. That's we'll the other. You know, isn't it weird that so many people that you don't even know know so much about you or I mean, think funny, that they do? But I know a lot about you, too. Well, that's true, but that's not another to, story. Yeah, I'm not really allowed to talk about that. Mm -hmm. But they know your hair is named, is, is, I didn't know what this is, Caesar is what they call your hair? Oh, they did? Yeah. Well, I think that was, you know what I think that was? That was a haircut I had for uh, when I did From Dust Till Dawn and had to keep it on the show for yeah. about three or four months. And I think uh, that became the hair, you know, when it's when it was brushed down on my forehead, that I haven't had in a year and a half. But that won't matter. That's what my hair was for a while. One thing I know I can think about you already. Mm -hmm. I think you'll be the first to defend somebody if you think they need to fit in. So there's a little bit of Batman in you. So there's a little Batman. I like a little that. Batman in you. And let's mm -hmm. take that little girl right there. Yeah. I don't think you were too thrilled about how she got dumped on, basically. She about got she was up. fat and all this other well, stuff. She's tw 20 years old. Yeah. You know, come on, that's 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 not fair, and it's not accurate. By the way, she looked great in the movie. Mm -hmm. She's, um, uh, you know, people. Uh, when when a twenty-year-old or a nineteen-year-old girl's weight is the issue on the cover of you know the Wall Street Journal, that gets that goes too far, and it's not. It shouldn't be. Um, it, it's not what this business was designed to be about, and it certainly shouldn't be what it's about. And that was it was mean. It was mean spirited by a lot of people. Uh, from journalists to studio people, to, uh, there was a lot of people involved, and it was mean. But see, there is a little Batman in you, because you'll defend her. You got after those stalker Razzis, by the way, mm -hmm. which were at the airport, so you hadn't gotten rid of all of them. No, I haven't gotten when rid of them. When I got off the plane uh, at yeah. American Airlines the other day, they were there at the other end with they their were. little yeah. eight millimeter camera. Oh, yeah. No, I actually, we're in the middle of trying to win that one at the airport now, which is to say, if you are going to be behind, uh, if you're going to be at the airport and taking videotape with the purpose of selling it, then you have to have a press pass. That's all. Don't say you can't do it. Just say then you have to have a press pass. And then you've got the people that run around the airport now. Have you seen these? That have these little trailers mm -hmm. and they've got all these different pictures for you to autograph. Oh, I know. Well, that's different. That's people because they take those pictures and they sell them. Mm -hmm. That's people trying to make uh, some sort of a livelihood. And I guess that's okay. Uh, I try to not, I try to, now I just say I'll sign them if I can sign it to someone. Mm -hmm. But I don't want to just sign them, sign them. But you know, they got to make a living. I, I don't bust them for that. They, they sometimes do it at the wrong times. But. So you really couldn't say no to being the new Batman, could you? When they offer all that kind of money to you, you'd be the biggest boom it, in the it, world. But it wasn't even the money. It was The fact is, um, uh, you know, I'm, I'm still, the jury's still out on whether or not I'm going to make it in feature films or not. You know, I've made it in television. I'm successful in television. Mm -hmm. But I haven't had a feature film that really blew out. One Fine Day did pretty well. Uh, Dust Till Dawn opened well and then did OK. But nothing's really jumped. This is an opportunity for me to be in a film that may, may not, but may end up being very successful. And if it is, then I get to be part of that. Not the reason for it, but part of it. Um, and it's Batman. You know, bottom line mm -hmm. is, I get to be Batman. And that's, uh, I was three years old, and in the, I have a picture of me at three in the Bat costume. You know, <laughs> it's a lifelong thing. And it's, and it's fun, isn't it? Oh. Maybe physically hard, but it's fun. Physically hard, but, you know, not, not, cutting tobacco like I used to do and not uh, uh, selling lady shoes which is a tough job and you know other jobs that I've had uh, selling insurance door-to-door -door, that's hard this is uh, this was there were times it was tough but for the most part really very easy my father did this a lot and I think your father was a pretty stern guy I knew him from being a news guy mm -hmm. did he ever say George you do a lot of stupid things mm -hmm. sure always um, uh, he thought coming out to be an actor was stupid. My father did. Uh, I think more along the lines of he was afraid of the disappointment and right. me having to go through all that because he'd seen that with 
uh, many mm -hmm. members of our family, so he knew that that was probably driving. To, I, I learned this. You went to a, to get married. You drove a Winnebago from Los Angeles to Las Vegas and got, got married. married yeah. That falls into the the stupid. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> that wasn't the smartest. That wasn't my best. The Winnebago idea. was fun, probably. Oh, we had a good. But time. That was the big trip. Sure, you know. that was big. I kept the Winnebago. You did. <laughs> Is the pig still around, by the way? Um, Boy, that was, I've never had an opening like that for yes. a joke. I'm not going to go there. Uh, n yes, the pig I've had for 10 years now. I didn't know if it was still around because you had yeah. a girlfriend. I know well, also was. because, you know, the holidays come and the pig starts to sweat a little right through the Thanksgiving holidays and the Christmas thing. We've got Fourth of July coming, which... Uh, you don't really, you don't, you don't eat Max for the holiday, for the big holidays. We do in Alabama. Oh, you do. I save him for the, um, I call him the earthquake survival kit. Oh. Big one hits, you put that apple right in his mouth. Well, you did good, son. Thanks, man. Good, good. Uh, it's fun. No, I, thought, I thought it was fun.